In this video, we are going to understand about components of food. Now we saw in one of the earlier videos that you have different dishes at different point in times. Let's take breakfast is you have cornflakes. Now normally when you would have a cornflake, what will happen is that you will use milk and you will use wheat. Wheat, when I say, I mean that cornflakes is made up of wheat, it contains some sugar and certain other things. Now, this is basically called a dish. All these three are called the ingredients. So, we say that cornflake consists of various ingredients, which are namely milk, wheat, sugar, etc. Okay. Now each of these components or rather ingredients contains various components. Also called nutrients. What are these nutrients? These nutrients are basically carbohydrates. It could be fat, it contains protein, vitamins and certain other things. Now each of these nutrients or components are essential for our body. Lack of either of them can lead to you to certain types of diseases. So having all of them in a balanced manner is very important. If there is lack of any of them, that is not good for the body. However, having excess of any one of them is also bad. Let's say for example fat. Now each of these have a utility which I will be covering in subsequent videos. But if you have fat in excess, that is bad for health. Proteins, if they are excess, then also that is bad. So you have to have a balance of all these nutrients. And how can you have balance of all these? When you have a balance or a control in the ingredients that are forming part of your food. Right? So what we learnt in this video was that food basically comprises of various dishes that we have over a period of day. Each dish contains several ingredients. Each ingredient provides us with various nutrients such as carbohydrates, fat, protein and vitamins. We require a balance of all of them Excess of anything is bad and if there is a lack that is also bad. Then you need to go and take medicines and injections to replenish it if your food actually does not contain the requisite quantity of either of these.